The trees in the shady garden help block the sunlight from vegetables who don't like to get a lot of sun. I wonder if we can make my favorite backyard soup from these vegetables. Radish. Potato. Carrot. Pea. Broccoli. This is a leafy vegetable. With leafy vegetables, we can eat almost the whole plant. Pea. Carrot. Potato. Radish. This underground vegetable is called a root vegetable because it's the root of the plant. We eat the root part of this vegetable. Vegetable plants grow outside in the soil. That's why we need to wash them. The vegetables that grow underground have the most dirt on them. Washing vegetables is important because we wash up things we don't want to eat, like dirt. Some vegetables look really different on the inside. The seeds inside some vegetables can grow into new plants. Broccoli has a large flowering top and a stem. Both parts are healthy to eat. It looks like a little tree with a trunk and leaves. The seeds inside some vegetables can grow into new plants. Some vegetables look really different on the inside. Radishes are root vegetables that grow underground. It has red lines coming out from the center that look like a flower. Some vegetables look really different on the inside. The seeds inside some vegetables can grow into new plants. It's time to cook. We made broccoli and radish soup. Delicious. The trees in the shady garden help block the sunlight from vegetables who don't like to get a lot of sun. I wonder if we can make my favorite backyard soup from these vegetables. This vegetable grows on the plants in pods. We eat the seeds inside the pod and sometimes the pods too. Vegetable plants grow outside in the soil. That's why we need to wash them. The vegetables that grow underground have the most dirt on them. Washing vegetables is important because we wash up things we don't want to eat, like dirt. Some vegetables have a tough outer skin that is not easy to eat. Other peas are the seeds of the pea plant and grow in pods. Peas can grow from seeds and from shoots that sprout from the pod.
other vegetables have leaves, pods, or stems that are not great to eat. Next time you pick a vegetable, think about if it will need to be peeled or not. When the waste breaks down into compost, it can be used as food for growing plants. It's time to cook. We made Mrs. Hippo's pea soup. <sighs> this is my new favorite. The kinds of vegetables that grow in each garden depends on the amount of rain and sun. The farmyard garden is warm, sunny, and gets a little bit of rain. I wonder what vegetables grow on the farm. The desert garden is hot, very sunny, and hardly gets any rain. I wonder if any vegetables can grow here at all. The lake garden is cool, cloudy, and gets a lot of rain. I wonder what vegetables grow in such a wet place. The shady garden is cool because the trees block the sun's light and it gets some rain, but not a lot. The trees in the shady garden help block the sunlight from vegetables who don't like to get a lot of sun. I wonder if we can make my favorite backyard soup from these vegetables. All the sun and rain from the farm means the vegetables grow big and healthy. Tomato. Some of the vegetables at the farm can grow very large. I wonder if we can make soup using only root vegetables that grow underground. Pumpkin. Onion. Green bean. The wet soil at the lake is perfect for vegetables that need a lot of water. Spinach. Lake garden vegetables are mostly green and leafy. I wonder if we can make a soup using only leafy vegetables. Spinach. Mushroom. Cilantro. Cabbage. All the sun in the desert makes for tall and healthy vegetables. The desert garden vegetables are very colorful. Squash. I wonder what happens when we make soup with spicy red chilies. Pepper. Eggplant. Corn. Chilies. 